Good afternoon, everyone. I am Juhi Jain from Atal Innovation Mission, Niti Aayog, and I welcome you all to the Assistive Technology Innovations Showcase for Inclusive Education, organized by the Ministry of Education in collaboration with AIM, Niti Aayog, as a part of the Adi Kamrit Mahatsav. Today, we have the pleasure of having with us the Honorable Minister of State, Shri Subhas Sarkarji, Additional Secretary, Santosh Yadav, Additional Secretary, Shri Santosh Sarangi Ji, MD A. Meeti Ayog, Dr. Chintan Veshnav Ji, and other esteemed dignitaries. We also have with us the officials from Meeti Ayog, states, innovation officers, special educators, parents, NGO communities, and students in the audience. We have been joined by our distinguished panel, presenters, and speakers today along with our audience who is listening to us live on YouTube. We commence the event with a speech by Sri Santosh Yadav, Additional Secretary, Department of School Education and Literacy under the Ministry of Education. He is a 1995 batch IAS officer of UP Cadder and holds M.Tech degree from IIT Delhi and B.Tech in Civil Engineering from IIT Roorkee. He has been instrumental in many major activities of nation building, having worn multiple hats throughout his service, including transport, urban planning, and development. We welcome you, sir, and request you to please deliver the opening speech of the event. Good morning, everybody. At the outset, I welcome Honorable Dr. Subha Sarkar, Education Minister, Government of India. Sir, we got to know about the personal loss at your place, even after that you have joined, that speaks of itself. So today's webinar, national webinar on assistive technology innovations, we are holding this uh, webinar under the banner of 75th year of Ajadi Ka Amrit Mahotso. So today I welcome, apart from our honorable ministers, education secretaries and SPDs from states and union territories, Chairman CBSC, Kendri Vidyalay, Jawaharanar Vidyalay, Chief Innovation Officer Abhay Jairi Sahab, Additional Secretary Mr. Sarangi, NGOs, volunteers, parents, community members, officials of this ministry. And I am pretty sure today's webinar will be very helpful in realizing the potential, full potential of students. Thank you. Thanks a lot for listening to me. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, sir. There was, I think, no better way to start the event. And it's inspiring to see that the work that has happened in the COVID-19 pandemic, especially in the education space, and our continued efforts in making sure that the inclusivity in education uh, keeps happening. And on this note, we have a video compilation of all the assistive technology presentations from today. The video shows a glimpse of all the work that the mindful innovators are doing. The video compilation will show the technologies and the solutions that they have presented so far. These solutions are to aid the learning needs of children who are differently abled. I request uh, Ashwini to please uh, play the video. dyslexic myself, we are working towards a solution for a specific learning disability with a passionate team with me. SLD is faced by 35 million children in India who are having reading writing difficulty and which is caused by parental denial, stigma, access and affordability for the solution. Our solution brings together parents, teachers, special educators and children to identify them with this difficulty and give them the right intervention. Following is D-Learners led by Sri Arun Fernandez. D-Learners is an online platform that aims to provide support from identification to intervention for children with dyslexia. Over to you Arun for uh, the presentation. Yeah, thank you so much for this opportunity. I hope so the screen is visible. 
Me being a dyslexic myself, I have uh, started this initiative with a group of passionate uh, team, which is uh, from end to end we build our own uh, tool in house from uh, acquiring teachers who are partners, and for building the platform and so on. And why we started this whole journey? Uh, we started in Loyola College, Chennai, wherein uh, we started doing screenings in in school screening. That is offline screenings. We went to go go to school since we screen so many children. And uh, through partnering with NipMed, we kind of validated a screening tool too. And uh, now, uh, before actually starting uh, this whole thing, I just have a small activity. So, what is dyslexia means? I just wanted to show to the audience. Uh, please, anyone can attempt to read by yourself. But if there is a difficulty in reading, and you have all the intention to read it correctly, also you are not able to read. That is what is dyslexia, and uh, that also is hindered my school education, which made me to uh, shift around seven different schools, and finally landed up in a mental hospital in Kilpock in Chennai to get an assessment done. So this was a very terrifying experience when I was in 13 years. So that is the same experience till now also, which is not changed. Which is one in five children are having this difficulty in India. It's about 35 million children. So uh, and as my friends uh, before also told about this difficulty, uh, few of them drop out. A few of them are called just labeled as children not able to read or write and. But otherwise, intellectually, they are perfect. Only the reading, writing, and uh, uh, arithmetic uh, aspect is a difficulty. When it comes to parents, uh, there is a, a large level of stigma. Why? Because they kind of cover it up, and they don't want to tell it outside, and so on. And there is a lot of denial because of the stigma. And access and affordability is always an issue. And now, as my experience and a group of uh, technic uh, technologists, we have come out with a solution wherein, from identification to intervention through a platform, we actually do it in their own homes. So, how we do it is in three different ways, which is awareness creation and sensitization, identification, and uh, giving them intervention, which is not a tuition, but which is making them uh, master the core skill of reading, writing, and arithmetic. So uh, till identification, I personally felt I went to pillar to post to get myself screened. I'm not talk talking about the scientific assessment. It's more of identifying whether the child is having reading writing difficulty. If only if it is free and if it is affordable in their own homes. Till this, we are kind of making it all free for parents to actually use. Then it goes to the intervention. So this we uh, the first level of intervention we call it as a blended session. I just give you a small example. And maybe press on the word funny. Yeah, and now go to the next one. So here the teacher yes. instructs, no, and the screen is there. Read the next sentence. And the child also the plays in live with the mm -hmm. teacher. Little good friends. So as I told people, you, the children people, are brilliant. So they just kind of uh, have a high vocabulary. The child just still told prince instead of cha people. Call, call, Lily Again, little is what the Lilly child knows. Yeah. The now child you find out the word. Yeah, so this is one step yeah, of the intervention. And choose. So these are all live uh, interaction Good with job. the child now with the, the actual one. teacher. So that makes a very a big difference in the first level of intervention. <laughs> then it goes to an app-based learning. So app-based learning is basically the child Son. himself learn uh, by themselves. Son, chat. Then kind uh, we kind of uh, uh, give them uh, real-time worksheets and also be given to the uh, end user. Then that would be sent in courier to them. So this is the progress of past two years. Before this, we were having labs inside schools, but now we are actually doing all online. And this is what is the progress uh, pan India today. And we are able to see progress from uh, uh, fundamental level to uh, improve to basic level. Then it goes to the pricing. So this is the actual pricing of a, uh, of a child being identified, but we are giving it for free. 
about 2800 rupees per child per monthly which is the percentage of a special educator coming on uh, board and which is about 70 57 percentage of the uh, uh, actual earning is going to the teacher so we are actually a, a, a aggregator model wherein we connect the special educator and the ch- parents who are actually needing this help and we are uh, working as an aggregator to connect all this three individuals which is a special educator parent child themselves and connecting with the schools or communities anywhere what we want to do is learning with this ai we want to reduce cost which is the monthly cost and actually making it uh, convert to actually being more affordable to every child by using ai and ml so all this learning is in the platform which is learned by an ai and ml tool and future there will be less of human intervention more of the technology itself will make this more scalable and affordable to every youngster outside wherein there will be no child left behind and every child will be able to stay in their own uh, schools to get a better future thank you so much for this opportunity